get one Lush haul unboxing. This is my very first Lush haul video, and this is my very first BOGO sale that I've ever shopped. A year ago on Christmas, I didn't even know what Lush was. I'd never even heard of it. Um, that's a story for a different day, but yeah, needless to say, my Lush obsession has gotten pretty out of control, and here I am with my one of two Lush haul unboxing. Um, I did purchase everything online, obviously, um, because the nearest store is actually three hours away from me. And I will say it was not the smoothest experience, but because I obsessed and checked the website so often, I did manage to grab everything I wanted. I did have to place three orders, which was a bummer because I had to pay for shipping three times. But it's worth it. Buy one, get one. Can't beat that. Um, so I've got two boxes here. I've got another two boxes, I think, coming. But And I'm not sure which what's going to be in what box, so this will be a surprise. Um, so I've got this littler guy here. And I've got a big one, big heavy box here. So I will say, before we get started, I thought this video would be really fun because since I am so new to Lush, a lot of these scents I've never even smelled before. To be honest, I've actually never even been in a Lush store. Like I said, the nearest one's three hours away, so it's just not, it just hasn't happened. And one of these days it will when I'm traveling or something, but um, so far, I've not been able to make it in a Lush store. So, I'm going to be experiencing these things for the first time ever here with you guys, and I'm so one more confession, um, a lot of these products are obviously bath products. Uh, you know, that's just what the Christmas range is mostly comprised of, and that's what it goes on sale for the buy one get one. But I've actually never used a bath bomb in my life, or a bath melt. And I'm not just talking lush, I mean I've never used a bath bomb, period. Like, never. So I kind of went crazy and bought a ton. I think I ended up with like 21 total bath bombs. So. Here's hoping I enjoy the experience. I'm sure I will. Everything Lush that I've tried so far has been absolutely amazing, and I have no doubt that this stuff's going to be just as amazing. So, anyway, I think it's time that we dive in. Um, this is the little box I'm going to do first, and I'm going to make a huge mess right now. I don't know where to put all these peanuts. I'm not really prepared. So, first up, we have the Plum Pudding Felt Mat. Or plum pudding, um, what do you call it, bath melt. So um, I got two, I'm obviously going to leave one wrapped up, but I'll open one so that I can smell it. I know that this is the plum rain scent, which I have smelled before because I got a sample of the plum rain shower gel and I really did enjoy that smell. Has like this grassy, just really refreshing, <sighs> lovely scent. I love it. It's grassy in like the best possible way. But anyway, so there's that cute little guy. It smells delicious. So can't wait to use that. All right, more peanuts. There's a lot of peanuts. It's so cool that these are biodegradable. So I have a compost pile and I just toss these in there. And it's so cool. Like, sorry if I'm so terrible. I don't see why. Their companies just need to be like Lush. I mean, all the companies. Because Lush is just the shit. Okay. Bath bomb. I'm not going to look at the sticker. Because, okay. Oh, I'm going to get so messy. So this is, I am going to look at sticker. Holy Night Bath Bomb. Oh my gosh, it's messy. Okay. So here it is. Yeah. It smells. Hmm. You know, I don't remember. I should have written it down or something. Um, what these are supposed to smell like. This just smells very fresh. It just smells fresh. That's super cute. I love the little holes. I saw one video where a girl was like getting creeped out by the holes in this. But I think they're so cute. Yeah. 
It must be citrus or something. It just does smell really refreshing. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm covered in water in my nose now because, yeah. So yeah, there's gonna be two of these. You find the other one. Okay, next up we have Luxury Lush Pud. And I know that this one's supposed to smell like the comforter smell, which I've actually never smelled. So, let's see what I think. Mmm. Oh, it's kind of spicy. It's funny, it smells spicy to me. So, comforter is a black currant smell, which I'm honestly, to be honest, I'm not very familiar with black currant. I think that black currant is more of a UK, um, like scent or uh, fruit, whatever. Um, you don't see black currant in the US very often, but I know it's similar to blueberry. I don't smell blueberries. I definitely smell, yeah, it's spicy. It smells really good. I'm excited. And this one's so cute and colorful. So that'll be fun. Got two of those. Oh, a little bit up the nose. It's okay. And next we have Shoot for the Stars. So this one, wow, there's a lot of powder coming out of here. So this one, I know it has Honey I Wash the Kids scent, which I am familiar with because. I have the Honey I Wash the Kids shampoo bar, which I absolutely love the smell of that. Um, I did get a sample of the Honey I Wash the Kids soap, which I want to buy a bar of that because it smells amazing. And obviously Scrubby, I have Scrubby too, who is so cute and just smells like heaven, so. Oh yeah, that's familiar. Oh, it smells so good. Shoot for the stars. This guy is so cute and I think it's so awesome how he's got these little melts in here. I'm so excited for any of the the ones that have like the melt in them because uh, I just, I have dry skin. I get, I get really dry from most soaps so anything that has some kind of a moisturizing effect I'm all down for. Yeah. Woo! So exciting. These have so much powder in the bag. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the other thing in this box is the duplicate of the Shoot for the Stars. I got duplicates of most things. Not everything, but most things. And I think that's it for this box. Yep, so that's it for the little box. And I'm going to move on to the big one. So I was able to snag two of these cute party hat ones. Oh, where's this top? There's no top. Isn't this supposed to have like frills here? I don't know. Take hat and party. Take hat and party. That's so cute, but I'm missing the frills. Anyway, it's not like I'm gonna wear the hat or anything. Let's see if the other one has it. Oh yeah, this one has it. This is the only gift that I actually grabbed and this has three products in it. It has Lord of Misrule, which I'm so excited to smell because I've heard so much about Lord of Misrule. World Smells Disco and Naughty Elf Bubble Bar. Okay. I seriously, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know. My, my Lush collection has just grown by like 10 times. These are cute. These little styrofoams are stars. I don't know where to put them. So there's a lot of these guys in here. Oh, it smells weird. <laughs> I think the combination of the things that are in here are smell making it smell weird. Okay. Oops. Careful when you open these. I just got a nail full of bubble bar. Okay. So first up, 
is this little guy. He's so cute. I think this is probably the cutest Christmas item that they came out with. He's so adorable. Oh, he smells weird. This is what I was smelling when I said I smell something weird. It's not a bad smell. It's like spicy again. I'm smelling spicy. But not in a bad way. So yeah, he's cute. I'm definitely going to be sharing this with my son who loves bubble baths. He's four years old. Um, I'm sure I'll talk about him more in some other videos because he loves Lush just like me. Now, this says that it smells like jasmine. Um, mixture made up of mango, violet, jasmine, lemon myrtle, and pedigree oil. So... Yeah, those are a bunch of scents I'm not really too familiar with. But I'm excited to try it. I know that the scents will definitely come out more and probably change when I'm using them. Okay, this is the disco one. So cute. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember the scent profiles on these. So this is the uh, world's smallest disco. I kind of skipped over what it smelled like because I couldn't identify it at all. Um, but this says it smells like lime, grapefruit, and cognac oil. So yeah, I definitely can smell the lime. Yeah, grapefruit. And I don't know what cognac oil smells like really, but yeah, it smells good. I like the smell. I'm excited to use this one. There's one more in here. Oh, it's like really stuck in there. Okay, got it. Okay, this is Lord of Misrule. This is the one I've been so excited to smell. Hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now, see, I can tell that the scents have kind of mixed together from the disco one onto this. But I, yeah, that's good. Mm. Let me look up the scent profile. Okay, so this one says, spicy herbal blend of patchouli and black pepper oil. It's funny because I don't really like patchouli, but this smells so good. Yeah, it definitely is peppery. Smells like vanilla to me. Yeah, that's good. I can't wait. I'm so glad I have two of these. I wish I had more. <laughs> because I don't live close to a lush, I thought what better way to like experience some of these smells than by bath bombs because they're so fun. This way I know like if I see Lord of Misrule a shower gel or something available, I will know I want that. Because that's amazing. Okay. Anyway, so that was it for the little party hat guy. Very cute. Definitely loving that Lord of Mist roll. Yeah. Okay, next. Butter Bear. Bath bomb. Um, I have the Butter Bear shower jelly, and the smell to me was just kind of weird. It took some getting used to. Um, I know it's supposed to smell like uh, marzipan, I know, but to me it smells like root beer. Like root beer and vanilla. Like. Anyway, this smells exactly like the shower gel. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy this smell. And again, I'm really excited for this one because I know it has the cocoa. Hold on. What, Henry? I'm most excited for this one because I know that it has um, like cocoa butter in there that melts. And so it's going to be really nice and moisturizing and relaxing. So, yeah. I got two butter bears. They're so cute. another one of those in there somewhere okay this is one of the ones I'm most excited to smell because everyone's been talking about it and everyone seems to love it and that is the Yognog now I ended up with four of these by accident I only meant to buy two but I was in such a hurry with my cart because the cart things would just be gone so fast so I put everything in my cart and I just pressed order and then I didn't even notice until after I had placed my order that I had four of these but 
To be honest, of all the things I could have accidentally purchased for, this is like, I'm fine with it. For It's moisturizing and it's for the back, so. Oh my god. Okay. I have to say, this is living up to the hype in every possible way. So I can get it out. Oh my god. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it really, it smells like, like cookie dough, like sugar cookie or like butter cookies. The cookie dough for butter cookies. Mixed with spices. Oh, yeah, that's heaven. And I also love that, I, like I could split that up into four uses. Um, so, oh, I'm so glad I have four of these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's heaven. That does not disappoint. Uh -oh. See, that's the thing about Lush. It's like, it's not normal for things to live up to the hype. You know, with skincare, with like smells, with whatever, things never live up to the hype. But Lush does. And that's why I love Lush so much. Okay. Next, next we have. Starlight, Star Bright. What is this? Bath Melt. Starlight, Star Bright, Bath Melt. Oh my god. One more time. Starlight, Star Bright, Bath Melt. There we go. Okay. Oh, I smell lime. So strong. Oh yeah, that's zingy. Oh my gosh, that smells so strong of lime. I love lime, so that's fine with me. Hmm. Yes. Very citrus. I, yeah, I really love that. So here, it's so sparkly and beautiful. And if you see this one, if you've watched videos of this one melting away, it's so gorgeous. Ooh, yes, I love that. Oh yeah. It's all over my fingers. Love would have never hurt nobody. So next we have I don't know how to say this. Melusin? The Melusin bath bomb. I've heard that Melusin has something to do with like mermaid folk, 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 mermaid folklore. So I don't know if that's true. I haven't fact checked that, but that's what I heard. And this one's so pretty, and I know that this is supposed to smell like avocado co-wash. So again, this is another one that I thought would be great to test out the smell um, in a bath bomb. And I just saw that the Valentine's Day uh, collection this year has avocado co-wash and I just love the color of it so much so I'm hoping that I love the smell of this so that I can buy the shower cream. Mm. Ooh. So I smell lime. Hmm. It's a very sweet. It smells good. Let me look up the site profile on this. Infusions of lemony, light sea, cubiba, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, and cheerful bergamot oil, wow, carrageenan extract, and ol olibunum oil, <laughs> hydrate and nourish the skin. So yeah, it definitely has the citrus. I was I thought lime, but it says lemon. But yes, I definitely smell that, and I like that. That's really nice. Hmm, I don't really. Why do they call it avocado co-wash? Does it smell like avocado? Like I'm not smelling avocado. Am I supposed to? Anyway, yeah, liking that a lot. Oh, another one of my purchases that was not. Bogo, but I needed it anyway is this the full of grace um, this is I just love this stuff I'm gonna skip over this because I am gonna do a full product review on this later down the road and my other non bogo purchase this is the last of the non bogos was the American cream conditioner um, I just saw that they came out with like American cream bath bomb and American cream I think body wash um, so, 
I'm really hoping this smells amazing. I know some people smell strawberries and some people don't. And it's so weird, so I'm wondering if I'm gonna smell strawberries or not. Ooh. Oh my gosh, how do people hate on the smell of this? I know this is a really popular scent, but online I did see some comments that people did not like the smell. Oh, that smells so good. Hmm. So people say strawberry milkshake. Yeah. I don't know if I get strawberry too much. Definitely vanilla and a fruitiness, but I, I wouldn't say necessarily strawberry. It's not bad. It smells really good. I can't wait. I'm excited to use this. So. Okay, next, Putty Holly. So I did get two of these. And this is a bubble bar. So, oh, what did I call it, bubble room? Because it's sandwiched, there's like two pieces and there is like a cocoa butter layer in there. So from what I've read, you can get two uses out of this and I definitely will try to get two uses because I like bang for my buck. I'm not made of money and Lush is expensive. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to open. I'm busting out some scissors because we don't got all day. So this one's another one that I heard is supposed to smell like marzipan. That smells just like marzipan. Oh, oh yeah. I love marzipan. So I'm so excited that this actually smells like marzipan. So I think this is the snow cake scent family if I'm not incorrect. Alright, sorry about that. My camera decided to turn off for some reason. But I only have one more in this box. So I'm going to try to get through it real quick. And um, this is the Avo Bath. Ooh. Avo Bath. So this is another one that is just a regular range. This was not a Bobo purchase. I just have heard a lot about it and I wanted to smell it. Oh, and yeah, it smells really good. Very lemony. So I do have one more um, large blush unboxing coming soon, as soon as it gets delivered. And that one's gonna have a lot more BOGO goodies, a few of the exclusive bath bombs that are new. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more videos, more demos, more product reviews, all lush. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll definitely be sharing my experiences with you as I use these bath products for the first time. Alright, thank you and until next time, bye.